In this video, you will see how to integrate your Square to QuickBooks with the help of Business Payments app for data transfer and for real quick reconciliation of your Square transactions in QuickBooks. So here is my Square account. I have the test transaction I want to bring to my QuickBooks. And this is the Business Payments app itself. I have already connected my QuickBooks to it and some transactions were already synchronized from some other payment platforms, but now I want to connect my Square. In case you don't have QuickBooks company connected, you can connect your accounting company here, clicking plus sign and going to add accounting company. But in case I'm connecting Square, I hit add payment platform. I select Square here. In case you're not the admin of Square account, you can invite one to grant the permission. If you are the admin, you just hit connect. You select the location needed for your uh, Square transactions. And now in case you have several QuickBooks companies connected, you also can select which one you want Square transactions to go to. After all the preliminary setup is done, you will be suggested to go through one-click setup form, this one, and uh, basically you can twist all the settings here and click I'm OK to start to go directly to um, the transactions and synchronize them, but I will go step by step to give you some more details. So I'm on the sales settings right now. And I select here under the bank account, Square bank account, which is a clearing account. The app will create it under your chart of accounts. Uh, and in order to everything be accounted for properly, it's highly recommended to use this one and not your actual checking. So initially all the transactions will be allocated here. And then the app will also require transfer from the Square Bank account to your actual checking and everything will be matched up under your uh, banking section in QuickBooks. So please select this one and select most likely Square as your payment method. Also some advanced settings are available here like applying default customer. So this name you select here from your customers uh, list from QuickBooks um, will actually replace each and every name coming from your square if you want this or you can just switch this off anyways all the settings will be available after you go through initial setup so in case you want to change them something you will be able to do so so now I'm under the product settings and you can see here only one drop down for selecting product or service type and one drop down for selecting product income account this is because those settings are applied to new products. So uh, in case you have the product on your Square, but you don't have this product on QuickBooks, the app will create this product based on these settings. All the existing products will be matched up correctly in case the names match on Square and on QuickBooks end, and everything will be accounted for properly. Also advanced settings are available here. And you hit next. In case you have your Square adding some tax to the transaction, you want to switch this on so that the app can account for taxes properly. Now the fees settings. As a vendor, you can select Square and here you can select the category for the Square fees. I will select bank charges. This one. And as a bank account, again, it's highly recommended to use Square Bank account. So all the sales and fees will go to this Square Bank account and then it will be transferred to your checking. You hit next, the payout settings. And this is the setting where you select your actual checking account from your QuickBooks and the app will do the transfer from Square Bank account to the checking once your actual Square does the withdrawal to the bank. So you will be up to date. Now the general settings. In case you enable this synchronizing automatically setting, the app will synchronize all the ongoing transactions on your Square end automatically. All the previously created Square transactions are to be synchronized manually. I will show you how just in a second. 
now applying payments to unpaid invoices. In case you invoice your customers through QuickBooks, but they pay you through Square, you can enable this setting and the app will match up the payments from Square with the open invoices from QuickBooks End. Also skipping synchronization for duplicates. Once the setting is enabled, you're 100% uh, protected from any duplicates. In case you don't enter anything manually and you don't use any third party app to do the same kind of synchronization. In this case, something can be duplicated. In case it's only this app, you're 100% secure and good. Now that's it, we're done with the setup and we go to start to sync. So first of all, I want to import all transactions from my Square. So this is the right Square account. And here you can select the time range you want the transactions to be brought first of all to the app and then synchronized to QuickBooks. So you can select like one or two years in a row, but I will select just several days. Okay, I hit OK. And now I just refresh the page to see the progress of the import. And here we go. This is my Square transaction. It is not synced, as you can see, so that means that this transaction is not in my QuickBooks yet, and I am to synchronize it. So I'm selecting this one. You can also select like all of them per page or for all pages and synchronize them in bulk, but I will go ahead with only this one. I hit sync, confirm, and that's basically it. You can refresh the page to see the progress. In progress status means that the app right now is working on this transaction. Okay, now the transaction says synced. That means it's in your QuickBooks already. You can hit this green status to see the details of the synchronization. So this is the link to your uh, Square transaction, so to the original one. And these are the links to all the transactions and objects created under QuickBooks. So you can see the sales receipt created, the location, I didn't have it in my QuickBooks, the customer name and the product. So I can hit this one to open sales receipt and see how it looks. So here is my sales receipt. Everything seems to be brought over, like customer, the product name, the amount. Yeah, so everything is here, also the shipping address. Everything looks good. However, if you don't like something about it, or you want to change some settings, you can roll back the sync. That means that the app will erase everything from your QuickBooks. You can also do this in bulk, just selecting the transactions you want to roll back and hitting roll back. Like this. You refresh the page and it's done. Once the app says deleted, that means that this transaction is no longer in your QuickBooks. You can go ahead and check Square Bank account under your chart of accounts in QuickBooks to double check whether everything was erased. So this app can be a real great time saver for the automation of your Square transaction reconciliation.